This is a computer networks question based upon distance vector routing. We have been given the network structure over here. It is using the DVR algorithm for routing and the partial topology of the network it is as shown in this particular figure. The objective is to find the shortest cost path from router R to P and Q. So we are having R here at the uppermost level and at the bottom somewhere we have these two hosts P and Q. Entire topology is not given. In the middle, there can be multiple nodes again that we are not actually concerned with. We have to assume that R has three neighboring routers denoted as X, Y, and Z. And during the iteration, during first iteration, R measures its distance to its neighbors. In the first case, it will resolve the distance to its immediate neighbors. Before that, the entire network, let us say, it is having n number of nodes. So for every node x from r the initial distance would be infinity and then in every step it will keep resolving the distances in the step one it will resolve its immediate neighbors then in step two it will resolve those that can be reached in two hops from r and so on so it measures the distance to its immediate neighbors x y and z as three two and five respectively so this happens in the first iteration now router r gets the routing vectors from its neighbors in dvr what happens all the neighbors exchange their distance vectors to each other this routing vector is nothing but the distance vector itself r will get the distance vectors from all of its immediate neighbors that is x y and z so it gets those dvrs from its neighbors and that indicates that the distance to router p from the routers x y and z is 7 6 5 respectively so it so happens that x y and z are in some way connected to these p and q so they already know what is their distance from this p q and r so they return that thing to their parent to their immediate neighbor r now this cannot be said to be the second iteration many iterations would already have taken place and after all that happens these x y and z are able to resolve they already come to know what is their distance from these nodes p and q and so they exchange that distance vector with their neighbor r so now what happens is let us draw the topology in this way we have x y and z and then in some way they are connected to p and q but we are not actually concerned we can assume that they are directly connected so this is how the topology would look like and what are the distances given these are 3 2 and 5 and then for p we have so for this router P, the distances from X, Y, and Z are 7, 6, and 5 respectively. Similarly, for router Q, the distances from X, Y, and Z are 4, 6, and 8. Decided this way, 4, 6, and 8. So this is what we currently have. And now what are they asking? Which of the following statements is or are correct with respect to the new routing table that will be created at R after updation during this particular iteration. So when these particular distances are returned to R by its neighbors, then it will update its routing table. It will now be able to resolve its distance with both P and Q. So what it will do, it will choose the minimum of all the distances that it is getting. So let us say for node P, it will choose the minimum of the distances RXP, RYP and RZP. These are the three paths it is having. So it will choose the minimum cost path among these three. What are the costs for all of them? For RXP, the cost is R2X is 3 and then X2P is 7. So in total that is 10. Then the next which is RYP for that the total cost of this path is R2Y which is 2 and for Y2P it is 6. So 2 plus 6 it is 8. Then for RZP so 
r to z is 5 and z to p is 5 so 5 to 5 is 10 5 and 5 gives 10 and it will choose the minimum of these r that is 8 so now the distance r to p has been resolved as 8 similarly what will happen for the node q it will be again there are three possible paths r x p r y p r y r x q r y q and r z q so the three distances will be r x q will be r to x is 3 and then x to q is 4 so 3 and 4 7 then r y q it is r y is 2 and y q is 6 so again 2 plus 6 it is 8 then r z q r to z is 5 and z to q is 8 so 8 and 5 13 so minimum of all of them is 8 so the distance r to q will be resolved as 7 so now the routing table of r will be updated its distance to p will be updated to 8 and r to q will be updated to 7 so let's have a look at the options first one a is saying the distance from r to p will be stored as 10 no it will be stored as 8 so that's incorrect then the distance from r to q will be stored as 7 that is what we have just calculated so this is true and then the next hop router for a packet from r to p is y so for r to p we got this particular path that is r y and p which means if we want to reach from r to p then the next hop would be y so that is the path which has been chosen so this is also true and what about the r to q this particular path has been chosen so the next hop from r will be on x and the last one is saying the next hop router for a packet from r to q is it should have been uh, z over here but we got the next hop to be x so again this becomes incorrect so we'll be going with b and C for this.